Hello world, my name is Aaron and I'm a developer evangelist here at WebEx. Today we'll be talking about WebEx API's meetings endpoint and how you can use it to delete a meeting programmatically. This is the last video in a series, a series on all the CRUD operations uh, concerning this endpoint. If you haven't seen the others, take a look at those as well. Let's jump right in. Now you will need a developer account or a WebEx account of your own in order to follow along today. And you'll go right into this documentation section. Now this will be super easy, but this could be extremely powerful. You could use this while developing an app of your own um, to make it easy for your users to delete one of their WebEx meetings from your interface. So as you'll see on the side here, it covers all of the different request types. Today we're deleting a meeting and all that's required is that you pass in that meeting's meeting ID. So let's find one. Now if you did take a look at those other videos, then you saw I created a meeting called WebEx APIs Meetings Hello World. <laughs> That's going to be the meeting I'm going to delete. All I have to do is pass in the meeting ID right in the URL and then of course pass my bearer token which is hidden. And our API knows exactly what to do. Now for this response, it gives you a 204, which is okay, but it also means no content or no body. So that 204 lets me know that that meeting should no longer exist. Now, if you'd like to take it a step further, what you can do is take a look at our GitHub. In our GitHub, we have this repository called REST API samples. And in here, we're just getting started with examples of how to use all the stuff from our REST API. Meetings was first. So we've got create, we've got read, update, and delete. Um, examples currently in Node um, and more to come. So stay up to date on that on GitHub and check out our Twitter at WebEx Devs and at WebEx um, to stay up to date on everything WebEx. All right, coders, it was fun. Bye.